friends let us now learn some important points about the protein elastin so if you remember if you see elastin is present in lungs it is present in blood vessels and in elastic ligaments you should remember the differences between collagen and elastin this will make our work of learning elastin easier so if you see in collagen there are many types of collagen are present whereas in elastin we contain only one type of elastin is present collagen is triple helix structure whereas elastin does not have triple helix structure in collagen every third unit is glycine residues so you have glycine residue repeating units present in collagen such repeating units are not present in collagen in collagen you see presence of hydroxy lysine this hydroxy lysine is not present in collagen and hydroxy proline is present in collagen and it is also present in elastin elastin contains only hydroxy proline it does not contain hydroxy lysine then glycosylation occurs in collagen whereas that does not occur in elastin in collagen you see intramolecular aldol linkage occurs in collagen there is aldol cross linkage occurs in collagen whereas elastin you see desmosine cross linkage occurs in elastin okay so we will see some salient features of elastin synthesis now only the important features we are not going into the details of elastin synthesis so in the elastin synthesis the salient features are we have oxidative deamination occurs in the elastin where the lysine residues which are present in tropoelastin will undergo oxidative deamination in the presence of the enzyme lysyl oxidase and forms aldehydes right so these are lysine derived aldehydes these three lysine derived aldehydes which are there they will combine with one more lysine which is normal lysine and this forms a tetra functional cross link this tetra functional cross link is unique of lysine sorry unique of elastin and it is not present in collagen and this tetra functional cross link occurs with the help of desmosine protein and it has desmosine cross linkages are present in elastin which is one of the important future then just like the uh, collagen it also contains hydroxy proline these are the important points that we should remember in elastin then if there is mutation of this elastin gene mutation of this elastin gene results in supravalvular aortic stenosis which is called has william buron syndrome this is william buron syndrome is present due to this elastin gene mutation so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you